Welcome to the Tech Mind Factory video blog. In this video, we are going to talk about how to automate Azure AD B2C policies release with GitHub Actions. Let's start. Here is my GitHub and repository called Identity Developer Templates. Here inside this repository, you will find all the source code together with PowerShell scripts that we are going to discuss in this video. But before we jump in, there is one question. Why should I configure continuous release for AD B2C custom policies? So try to imagine that you have different kind of applications and for each application you have custom policies. So of course, for each of the, of the tenant in the B2C, you will have to replace this tenant ID inside custom policies files, XML files in this case. So it can be time consuming. Now, let's try to imagine that you added some user attribute or you would like to extend the functionality of, of custom policies to call Azure function, for instance, during the registration of the user. So here in those specific scenarios, you can, of course, open Azure portal and upload those uh, custom policies manually using upload custom policy button. But there is a better way. And better way is to configure continuous deployment for those custom policies. And I will show you how to do it in this video. Before that, there is one more thing. On my techmindfactory.com blog, you can find the article where I describe the process that we are going to follow in this video. And here you will find out all the details, how to use custom policies with custom branding and how to set up GitHub Actions to set up continuous deployment and delivery of the Azure AD B2C custom policies. So I encourage you to also visit my techmindfactory.com blog. So now let's get back to the GitHub repository. And here is the uh, tab called source code. Let's open it. And there are three folders, branding, custom policies, and scripts. Inside the branding folder, there are folders related with the branding. So for instance, you would like to customize your custom policies, the look and feel to change the background, change the, uh, the logo of your company. So all the templates, CSS files together with HTML files are located in this branding uh, folder. Now, in the custom policies folder, there are the XML files uh, with custom policies. So you can find their trust framework base, trust framework extensions, profile edit, sign up or sign in, and password reset policies. And there is a third folder called scripts. So there are two scripts. The first one is used to replace uh, placeholders for storage account path. So in this case, I host my branding on the Azure Blob Storage. And of course, there is a path to file. So in each, uh, in, in each branding file, we would like to uh, replace this storage account path. And the second script is responsible for custom policies deployment. As you can see here, I have to uh, provide some parameters. So in this case, I have to set up application in the Azure AD B2C that will be responsible for calling Identity Experience Framework and applying those policies. So if I get back to the Identity Experience Framework under Application Registrations, you will see that here I have this CleanR management application and in the API permissions, here I have this permission called policy.readwrite.trust framework um, um, uh, trust framework uh, claim. Yeah, so so we need this permission to be able to upload those policies using a uh, Microsoft Graph API. So now when I get back here to this PowerShell script, you will see that for each policy file, what I'm doing, I'm replacing this tenant ID. So in this case, my tenant is called cleanarchdev.onmicrosoft.com. So I would like to replace this uh, and of course, together with some other parameters like proxy identity experience framework app ID or uh, identity experience framework app ID or storage account path or Facebook client ID. So all those parameters are replaced in, replaced in this place here in the script. And of course, below there is the whole block responsible for calling um, the Microsoft Graph API. And this block is responsible for uploading custom policies from the custom policies folder. 
So now, when we get back uh, to the uh, main root of, of this repository and the settings section here under the secrets, I also provided the secrets that will be injected in this uh, in those PowerShell scripts. So you can see here that all the secrets are stored in this specific place in the GitHub secrets. So please remember about it. It's related with the security. Do not store any secrets in the source code. So now let's get back to the code tab. And here under the GitHub slash workflows here, I have this ADB2C templates CICD uh, YAML file. So let's open it. So here we can see that on every push to master and on every pull request, what I would like to do, I would like to uh, call my uh, PowerShell scripts. So first of all, what, what you can see, there is this storage account path. So this is the path to, the, uh, to my storage account where I placed branding files for my custom policies. Now below, I have some steps and those steps are related with um, updating custom policies files on the environment. So here you can see that I'm uploading Trust Framework base XML content using the script. So here I have to pass the path to the script. We can see that there is custom policies deployment script together with parameters. So those parameters are injected from secrets, as you can see. So client ID is replaced by the ADB2C management app client ID secret. And of course, I have each step for each policy. So for trust framework base, trust framework extension, sign up or sign in, password reset and profile edit. And of course, what I have to also do, I have to replace the storage account path uh, in HTML files to make sure that uh, the look and feel uh, will be, will be uh, adjusted. Yeah. And once again, to, to underline it, I'm storing all the custom branding uh, files like HTML files, CSS files on the Azure Blob Storage. That is why I have to update this path uh, in the HTML files here. So again, I'm using this second PowerShell script, custom policies branding deployment script. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is really important to mention that we have to update this storage account path in each HTML file. And now uh, at, at the end, we would like to, of course, upload those custom branding files to the Azure Blob Storage. So here you can see that I have this, uh, this another, uh, another job that is responsible for uploading uh, custom policies branding files on the Azure Blob Storage. So now once there is a new, uh, a new commit and merge to the master branch, uh, those GitHub actions are triggered. So the first one is for the for building the source code in the repository. And the second GitHub workflow is responsible for releasing custom policies on the environment. So I can open the last one here and build. And you can see that here are the steps. So first we are updating the custom policies on the environment in the identity experience framework. Then we have to replace the account path in each HTML file. And at the end, we uploading those branding files on the Azure Blob storage. So let me show you the result of this work. So now if I open identity experience framework and I go to the custom policies and I click sign up or sign in here, I will click run now. And as you can see, there is my customized look and feel of my custom policy. I have customized uh, background. I have my logo of my TechMind Factory blog. Uh, and of course, I can adjust those CSS files, HTML files to, to change this look and feel. In the video description, I will include the link to my GitHub repository to the identity developer templates repo together with the link to my blog post. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact me either on Twitter or LinkedIn. And of course, I encourage you to visit my blog, techmindfactory.com. See you in the next video.